Welcome guys, this is Fabrizio Romano with a new YouTube video and today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. The 2022-2023 season is here and nowadays the easiest way for most people to watch football games is online. If you're traveling abroad and want to watch your team playing or your usual streaming services, you will need the help of NordVPN. Passionate about digital security and make every effort to ensure your safety, privacy and internet freedom, NordVPN online security starts with one click. Get your exclusive deal by going to NordVPN slash here we go to get a huge discount plus one month for free. There is no risk with NordVPN's 30 day money back guarantee and so the link is in the description below here we go and guys of course we start with marco curella new chelsea player he's signing the contract till 2028 he had the medical as i told you on the thursday so nothing has changed from the original plan with uh, Chelsea prepared to pay 55 million pounds plus 7 million pounds in add-ons so potential total package of 62 total uh, fee for uh, Marco Cucurella to Brighton and with Levy Colwell to leave the club on loan and not on permanent deal in order to keep the control on Levy Colwell for the future so Chelsea pay more in the present than expected but they keep Levy Colwell at the club for the future so this is the agreement with Brighton everything is completed after the medical yesterday and so congrats to Chelsea for Kukureya and I will tell you more guys on this story because it's time for me to speak about it I think it's been a really crazy saga and so I will tell you more so stay tuned but also for Chelsea another important news Cesar Spiliqueta signed on Thursday morning a new contract with the club for two years so till June 2024 everything has been agreed between Spiliqueta and uh, Chelsea, after Todd Bolly and Thomas Tuchel, have been pushing to keep Aspi at the club. Important, not just as a player, but as a leader. Let me say that Aspiliqueta has been super professional and committed always uh, with Chelsea, despite having an agreement on personal terms with Barcelona, because everything was agreed between Aspiliqueta and Barca. He was happy to go back to Spain, so Aspiliqueta wanted the Barca move, but he's always been professional, he's always been serious, and so when Todd Bolly and uh, Thomas Tuchel told him, we need you as a player, as a captain, as a leader in the dressing room. Aspilicueta decided to accept their decision not to sell him because they had no agreement with Barcelona on the fee and so they decided to keep Aspi with a new contract. So Aspilicueta stays at Chelsea. This is the situation and for Serginho Dest now the intention is still the same to stay at Barcelona as right back after Aspilicueta deal collapsed for Barca and Xavi Hernandez. Not only guys because for Chelsea it's important to say that they have an interest as I revealed on Wednesday night for Pierre Aubameyang uh, I told you this story was an exclusive story and I can confirm that there is a strong interest on Chelsea side for Pierre Aubameyang he's a player appreciated by Thomas Tuchel he knows him since Dortmund times uh, Todd Bowley and Chelsea uh, have been exploring the potential details of this deal so it's not yet a negotiation with Barcelona or a proposal to Aubameyang but they are exploring this possibility so they are considering Aubameyang as one of the options for the attacking position so Aubameyang is one of the names that they have in the list but it doesn't mean that he's joining Chelsea also because honestly my feeling uh, talking to my sources is that it's going to be really difficult to see Barca sell both Depay and Aubameyang only one of them at the moment this is the potential plan and so keep an eye on what happens with Depay who is negotiating the termination of the contract but he will only accept in case he will find a new top club and Aubameyang with Chelsea interest but Aubameyang is really happy in Barcelona so it depends on Chelsea now then guys uh, discussing of um, Chelsea for Wesley Fofana I'm told that they will be back with a new bid to Leicester so Wesley Fofana still the top target for Chelsea opening bid turned down around 60 million pounds but Chelsea will push again for Fofana they are obsessed with him they want him and so Wesley Fofana is the man uh, for Chelsea they will push on this deal again because Gvardiol the other top target is not available with Leipzig so keep an eye on Wesley Fofana in the next days and also with Frankie de Jong guys many questions but I told you in a separated video we will see because Chelsea will make a proposal to Barcelona only in case Frankie will change his mind and at the moment Frankie still wants to continue at Barca this is the idea of the player in case Frankie will change his mind 
Barcelona know that Chelsea are really interested and Man United are still there with an agreement with Barca. 75 million euros plus 10 in a dons. So Man United still there, Chelsea waiting to move but in love with Frankie de Jong, Tuchel and Todd Bolli, but it depends on Frankie, who at the moment still wants to continue at Barcelona, but let's follow this saga till the end of the market. And then guys, for Barcelona and for Chelsea, we say about fullbacks, Marcos Alonso has an agreement on personal terms with Barca since long time, since May, because he wants to leave Chelsea this summer due to personal reasons, he wants to go back to Spain, family reasons, and so, guys, I'm told that the deal is really advanced, he's progressing very well to the end, and so Barca are getting closer and closer to signing Marcos Alonso. Also during the night, new contacts, Barca are getting closer to Alonso, and Keep an eye on this one because I'm speaking of Marco Alonso for Barcelona since a long time and it's an option that is really concrete. So work in progress for Marco Alonso who could be the next signing for Barca. He's progressing very well for Barcelona, waiting to reach full agreement with Chelsea, but it's already fully agreed with Marco Alonso. And then guys, I told you about fullbacks and next signings. So for Barca, Marco Alonso for Tottenham in the Premier League, they are getting closer to signing Destiny Udoji, this fullback from Udinese, Italian player, really talented, fantastic last season in Serie A with Udinese. Uh, he did a very good job playing in a 3 5 2 system. Antonio Conte and Fabio Paratici are both big fans of this guy. He's the future of the Italian national team. Udinese want him to stay on loan, so loan it back for one more season. Tottenham seem to be open to this solution. Also, Brighton had an interest, but at the moment, uh, Tottenham are absolutely leading the race, they hope to complete the deal next week, and so Tottenham working on Udoji for the future of the club. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on these transfer stories, many things happening, Chelsea boost on the market, and so Cucurella, Aubameyang, Aspiliqueta, many things happening, Alonso for Barcelona, let me know your thoughts also of course on Fofana and all the other stories, and Udoji for Tottenham, I wait for you here guys, remember to subscribe to the channel, to like this video, turn on the notification bell, and see you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!